Are fruit juices and smoothie really as healthy as they seem to be? Hi everyone, my name is Elizabeth. I'm one of the dietitians at Nomi Health. In this counting calorie series, we're going to explore the calories in different types of beverages out there. They are seen to be healthy, but actually it's less friendly in managing your body weight and blood glucose level. For this episode, we're going to touch on fruit juices and smoothies. Now, don't get me wrong, fruit juices and smoothie can be delicious and can provide us hydration, especially on a hot day. Here is the catch. Fruit juices and smoothie can contain as just a higher number of calories as added sugar drinks such as soda. Many store-bought fruit juices and smoothies is packed with added sugar that is like adding empty calories to your healthy fruits. Fruits, on the other hand, is rich in vitamin C, fiber, and antioxidant, which is good for our immunity and digestion. It also helps to managing our blood pressure and cholesterol level. However, when it is juiced or blended, they can lose some of the nutrients and fiber. It reduces also the nutritional value of our whole fruits. So now we know that most of these store-bought fruit juices and smoothies are calories bomb, packing way higher calories than you might realize. And these added sugar in these beverages can come from different forms, such as honey, syrup, gula melaka, and brown sugar. So you might ask, what if I order fruit juices or smoothies without added sugar? Is it healthier? Mm, not really. As you know, all fruits contain natural sugar. This is why all fruits contain calories. If you were to get a cup of 300 ml orange juice, usually you need four oranges. On average, one orange contains 50 calories and 11 grams of sugar. If you have four oranges in a glass of orange juice, it will be 200 calories and 44 grams of sugar. Do you know how much is 44 grams of sugar? It is equivalent to 9 teaspoons of sugar. What about smoothies? For example, a glass of 500 ml smoothie made with two bananas, a cup of strawberries, and a cup of yogurt can contain up to 400 calories and 60 grams of sugar. The number of calories is almost double a glass of fruit juice due to the calories in yogurt. Now, let's look into those commercial fruit juices labeled as natural fruit juice with no sugar added. For example, a 300 ml no sugar added orange juice contains about 120 calories and 30 grams of sugar. The calories and sugar content is indeed lower than a glass of fruit juice but it's higher than a whole orange. Let's zoom into the nutrient profile. There's zero fiber in commercial juice and vitamin C is 24 mg. Compared to a whole orange, which is higher in fiber, 2.4 gram, and the vitamin C is 50 mg. Based on Health Promotion Board guideline, our daily requirement for vitamin C is 100 mg. This can be easily achieved if you have two servings of oranges in your daily intake. So, eating whole fruits is the best way to get the full nutritional benefit of fruits. When you eat the whole fruits, you get vitamins, fibers, and minerals that they offer. If you swap fruit juice for whole fruits, this will cut down 200 to 300 calories. And this definitely will be helpful if you like to prevent excess weight gain and it will help you achieve weight loss effectively. Eating whole fruits is more satisfying as you take time to chew and you get to enjoy the texture. As they are high in fiber, they keep you feeling full for longer. But if you still love your fruit juices and smoothies, what can you do? I suggest consume them in moderation, reduce the frequency and gradually swap for more whole fruits in a week. Or make your own fruit juice at home. Limit to only one serving of fruits, adding more vegetables such as spinach or celery. 
This will keep the calories low and sugar in check. This way, you can still enjoy the texture and the flavor while adding more nutrients and fiber into your fruit juices. Stay healthy, make wiser choices. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.